Okay, assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone, welcome you again. Now, let us start our lesson by looking at our value. Okay, let's, let's start now. For today, we are going to continue making the revision for the exam. Okay, I, before that, I upload four worksheets for you to practice. Today, we are going to continue, okay? Now, I want to start to have a look at these questions. This one is considered to be a practice for speaking with them. How can I reply for such a situation? I want you now to pause the video and choose the correct answer. Okay, now let's see. Your friend is having a birthday party. What would you say to him? What do you think? That's great, congratulations. Yeah, let's move on to the second situation here. Your brother got his driving license. What do you say to him? Wow, congratulations. So, now you are learning how can I respond to a good news. Number three, your friend bought his first car. What would you say to him? Wow, congratulations. Okay, you got the point here. So, this is the way how, how can I respond to a good news. Now, let's move on to worksheet number six. Now, what we are going to do now, we are going to, to correct the sentence or rewrite the sentence according to the, to the bracket. Have a look at the first one. I'll make it for you. I have studied in Doha since 2006. Instead of since, I'm going to use for. So I'm going to change the sentence. So this, the answer will be for the years. Got the point? That's right. We use sense for specific time. Now we use for for duration of time. Done? Now let's move on to the second one. I want you to answer this one in your notebook. Let us see. I haven't drive a car since 2009. Instead of sense, I'm going to use for 10 years. Again, for durations. That's right. I have lived in China since 2012 and 11, that's right. So instead of since, I'm going to use for eight years. I have read many books since June. And instead of since, I'm going to use five and count the months and it will be five months. Now let's move on to worksheet number seven. What we are going to do now, do as shown here. I have, I have to form sentence in negative form, that's right. Have a look at the first sentence. He studied English every day. What do you think about this one? How can I negate this sentence? Yeah, there is two points that you should pay attention to. The first one, just here we are. Have a look at this one. I have here every day, which is a keyword. Keyword lead me to what? To the answer. When I have every word in a sentence, every day or every month, every year, that means the sentence indicate present symbol for sure. After that, I discovered that we, I have present symbol sentence. Okay? Then I should go back to look for the subject. The subject here is singular. Okay, I know that the sentence is a present symbol and the subject here is singular. How can I negate singular? subject and present symbol. We talked this one in detail. Yeah, what do you think? Now let us see. So we use do to negate plural subject and does plus the not to negate what? Singular subject. So the answer will be he doesn't study English every day. Let's move on. And now I want you to pause the video. Do number two and three. Then come back to check your answers. Okay, she, again, singular, subject in present simple. She doesn't help. Ali takes two courses every semester. I have here Ali again, singular subject. Ali doesn't take what an every four present simple. Ali doesn't take course. Okay, before that, I want you just to pay attention here. The verb, uh, the verb here was with S. When I negate the sentence, what? That's right. She doesn't 
hope. Notice that we drop the S. Okay, move on to our piece number eight. Here I'm going to ask question, to form questions by using how many and apply it on in the sentence to form a question. Pause the video now, answer, then come back to see. Okay, now to see, Ali has got two cars. I'm going to ask by using how many, how many cars Ali got. Number two, Umar has got five box. I'm asking how many. I'm asking about the number of the box that he has got. Okay, so I'll use how many to ask about countable now. Yeah, Sammy has got how many pets has Sammy got? Then I have how many pens has Hamad got? Did you answer it like this? For sure you are excellent. Now move on to worksheet number nine. Have a look at this one. Now what you are going to do, you are going to correct the verb. Okay, to suit the sentence. Pause the video now, answer this one in your notebook. Now let us check. He had saved money before he buy a new car. So think about this sentence. How can I correct the verb? Yeah, he had saved money before he bought a new car. That's right. The second one, she had booked a jacket before she yeah pick big clothes picked. Okay, so we are going to use the bar pass here, yes. He had washed his face before he had his breakfast. Done with this part? Okay, now let's move on to worksheet number 10. Here we are going to practice vocabulary, okay? Choose the correct answer here. It says to bring a mobile phone to school. What do you think about this one? Is it legal? Illegal? Cheerful and amazing? What do you think about this one? Okay, how can I get the answer? Again, as I told you before, read the whole sentence until you read a full stop or the question mark. Then, have a look at the sentence. If there is any keywords that can help me to answer the question, have here mobile phone, bring mobile phone to school. For sure this one is illegal. Okay, you cannot bring your phone to the school. I tried to my, my car, my car, because it got stuck on the tree. I tried to fax, leave, rescue, or declare. Yeah, think about this one. My cat got stuck in a tree. So I'm going to what? To fix? No, I'm going to rescue her. To rescue my cat. Okay? Now move on to number 11 here. Here again, we're going to practice vocabulary. It is to take what is not used. It's a great, illegal, important, or wonderful. Take what is not used. What is about this one? It's illegal. Okay, so this one is forbidden by law. What is this one? Forbidden by law, we call this one illegal. Okay, he now wanted to the little boy when he fell in a big hole. He wanted to what? Flood, leave, rescue, remember? Yeah, he wanted to rescue. That's right. Move on to worksheet number 12. Yeah, again, we are practicing vocabulary. Okay, many. Singer cells that are recording online. Confused, prominent, old fashioned, or contemporary. What do you think about this one? Yeah, contemporary. Means what do you mean by contemporary? Think about this one. That's right, it's modern. Modern singers, they sell their recording online. My father tried to, then to join law college. So, please imagine or Proceed with this thing about this one. Yeah, he want to persuade to join. Try to persuade to join law college. Rockshi number 13. Yeah, a lot of artists use modern tools and, and their works. Forgetful, per permanent, old fashioned, or contemporary. How can I answer this one? This one? 
read the sentence and search for the keyword. I have here modern tool. Yeah, contemporary. I told you before that contemporary means why modern. When I'm when I'm talking here about and here I'm talking about the artist, they are using modern tools, so they are contemporary. That's right. My friend tried to to go to the cinema. So, what do you think about this one? Yeah, let us see. Persuade to go to the cinema. Okay. I am coming. Yeah. About eight and even at and while are during. Now we are practicing the using of the use of what preposition for sure. Yeah. What is the suitable here? The suitable one here is at. When I have time, so I use what at at seven o'clock, at eight o'clock. Okay. So when I have specific time, I use what at. Day, zone, space, and the fridge. Present, I have, yeah, think about this one. How can I get the answer here? I have no, any, many, a lot of. How can I choose the correct one? By looking at the sentence again, read the sentence again, notice the keyword here. I have here not, is not, or isn't. Which one is suitable one for negative? Can I see, can I say no? No. Can I say any? Have a look at this one. Yeah, that's right. So the correct answer is any. We talked that before and discussed it in school. Any, we use it for negative and question. Okay? Did you get the point here? Okay, the man house was stolen, came to the police station. We are going to about, yes, what is the suitable pronoun here? Should I say who, what, where, or who? Think about this one. The man. Who? He what? I'm, go I'm giving what emphasis about this man? Okay, when I give more information, more detail, when I talk about positions, I use who's, not who, okay? Have a look at the second one. My father used to use, use uh, to ask to the park before we moved to the new house. Take, talk, takes, or take. Okay, give it again. And I want to just give you a very important information about two. When we have the verb two, the verb comes after two will be gerund or place form or verb without adding anything. So two, take. Two, study. Two, run without adding anything to the verb. Okay? Now that was everything for our lesson today. I hope you get ready to, this, to get ready to the exam, okay? Study well, and if you have any question, just please label this one and let me see it in the class. Okay? Have a good time. See you next time, inshallah.